The Quick Buy is a really useful little utility controller you can set up to communicate with so many devices in meaningful ways. And uh, one of them that we uh, host as a default configuration is to switch auxiliary buses on an ATEM switcher. But let's say you want to do something different. Then you can also uh, look at the default configurations we already have. And uh, in this video, we'll start out by loading a different configuration in this controller. So you see how easily you can select a different default for your Skahoy controller by going to the online uh, core uh, repository. Okay, so the, um, the quick buy is right here. Let's just uh, take a look at it. So basically here on the side, I'm now going to attach the USB cable that goes to my laptop. And uh, it goes right into this slot right there. Okay, so... Uh, and on my laptop, it will be recognized in the Skahoy firmware updater. So I press online configuration. And then we have uh, here the configuration page for the quick bar. Now, um, I could show you what happens on each of these buttons. So this is the configuration for the auxiliary switching we have seen in a different video. That's not the topic. So what we'll do now is to change to one of these configurations. Let's take the ATEM plus macros. And um, I don't even know to, uh, need to save the settings. I just need to change. And then I go back to the firmware update application and press check for updates. Then the device will um, request the firmware from the server, which is being generated as we speak. And um, we'll just have to wait uh, typically less than a minute, like 30 seconds and it will begin to upload to the controller. And that's it. Okay, so um, the quick bar will uh, reboot and it will connect to the ATEM switcher, which is this right now. And in this configuration, it has been set up as a small switching uh, surface actually. So it's really just giving you access to camera one, two, three, and four. And you have a cut button right here. That's pretty neat. Um, I also set up the LED bars to be uh, confidence monitoring. So uh, what is that about? Um, did you get that I'm changing sources? Yeah, you can see changing of sources on, on, on preview. And if I press the cut button, I get this. I think if I press the upper edge here, I have an auto transition. That's what I mean by putting the label auto and cut here. And because it's a four way button, I can use the edges as I please. So I basically in, the, in this way, uh, use the upper edge to as uh, auto. That's pretty cool. Anyway, let's take a look at those LED bars. They reflect the audio levels on those sources. So you can see camera two has pretty much audio going on for it. And that's what you see uh, right here. If I turn this up, we can probably hit peaking. Yeah, we see peaking right now. I can turn it all the way down and it's away. And then of course the uh, VU meter for ME1 would be the master volume. So if uh, I can see that we have audio on the master, now we don't. If I turn the volume up again, yes, we have some. That's great. So what is the final button? It says state macro. So when I press this one, you see that I'm actually going to macros sitting uh, right here. So I can run a macro and you see uh, in the ATEM software that it's running a macro. You see that by the orange line. Okay. Uh, and if I press the side on this button, it's actually cycling through the different macro options I have, uh, which is... Uh, clear from the displays that will show you the macro name. So uh, macro one, and now we have macro six, we have macro 11 on the first button, which I can then play back. That's pretty neat. And this indicator will also indicate which macro level I'm in. You can see as I, as I press this, we have the uh, LED bar here is showing me which page I am on for the macro. Then if I press the lower edge on this button again, I'm basically toggling back to my switching state of this controller. I think that is a really good example of how flexibly you can use the quick bar even for switching, playing back of macros or uh, running macros on and off and so forth. <laughs>